tell you what, so I, kick, I class that as a great success. I think we were very pro there. Oh, yeah. Completely out of breath. Feeling a little bit icky because uh, I think my breakfast is coming back up. Yeah, but we don't tell anyone that. What we tell them all is, is that we were like proper men then. We just ploughed across the beach like epic heroes, yeah. surfed the sea, dipping our toes in as we went by. And we didn't get stuck, and that random stranger at the end that come running over to help us didn't probably save us all from having some kind of heart attack. <laughs> and everyone at home will think, these guys are the ones I wish I was like. Yeah, what else would you rather be doing? Yeah. On a damp January day than uh, getting stuck on, I mean, riding across the beach. The one thing I will say is, I really need a drink, yeah. and we could probably do with uh, getting you to pressure wash my bike down to make sure that it gets rid of all this sand and see. And uh, while you're doing that, I'll have this nice drink. Oh, brakes, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Woo. So as always, just to prove how important it is to bring a sidekick with you, when you've been riding in sand and rubbish and stuff all over your bike, always bring one to make sure that he pays and then cleans your motorcycle. <laughs> So I think what's really important on this channel, I always review things properly and I just want to say with the sidekick's pressure washing skills, out of 10 you get a really good solid 4. 4 out of 10 because... Still better than you would have done. Dude, there's bits you've missed all over here, like, like you can pay those foreign people less and get a better well, job done, but done. most importantly, because I'm a nice person, thank you for your hard, hard work. Whatever. Well, sidekick, I tell you what, mate, it's um, it's beautiful view, this route, isn't it? Yes, yeah, I mean, look at it, eh? What can we see? Not a lot. Yeah, thick with fog. I and mean, what I'd say so far about the route, we're, what, about 28 miles in? It's nice. Most of this has been, like, nice country riding. Um, I wouldn't say it's exciting, but nice country riding so far. But now we're just in fog, so we're enjoying the, 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 the sight of basically misty fog. Yeah, I mean, it has true. We did think earlier that it was clearing, didn't we? The sea looked almost like the sun was trying to come out. We thought we were, we were you know, the team was changing, but no, now the fog's come back in and uh, ruined it all. Yeah, pretty much. But we're still bombing along. We're able to hold about 50 to 60. Um, so we're hacking down the miles. Now our arrival time to the end of the route, not where we're staying tonight, is around 5 p.m. Um, so we've got some quite some miles and time wise to go. But um, hopefully we're going to come across something epic in a minute and be able to get some more epic footage in. Well, as we're going to head through the rest of the fog, if it continues like this, we're going to have to go into a field and do some naked dancing in a misty field and put some effects to it to make this good footage. But hopefully we're going to come across something half decent in a minute. At least that's the plan. Anyway, let's hack down another good 25 or so miles and we should be near the coastline, hopefully, if we don't get lost in the fog of doom.
psychic. <laughs> oh, we're supposed to be coastal in it, and we can't see no coast, but what we can see is just white fog. It is fog. Like I say, yeah, where's the coast gone? This is supposed to be a coastal route. I keep having to lift my visor up because it fogs up on the inside and there's ice falling off the flipping trees. Yeah, I know. How random is that? <laughs> You're riding along, it's like a massive cube of ice falls and smashes onto you. I don't get it, why is the ice hanging off the trees? I don't know, but... I didn't think it was minus today. I thought it was supposed to be like four or five degrees. It's just freezing fog, I don't know. But... What, massive chunks of it smashing against us, like boulders? It is not the best. Keep having to tilt my helmet to one side so I can see out of a bit of it because it's steaming up right in the middle. <laughs> this is not fun. Oh. But I suppose when you're riding in the middle of winter it could have just it could be worse, it could be snowing, but it would be nice if it wasn't this flipping fog. So basically you're not moaning at all but you're moaning. Now <laughs> we've only got right 159 miles until we've done this route. So I'll just go to the pub and then just say that we've done it. Well, I reckon we should just do some B-roll footage, sit in the pub and just act like the rest has been done. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I've got my heated gloves are on full because they're soaking wet because, again, the fog. I've got my inner vest that's on full as well. So I'm not cold, cold, but it's weird. It's like you say, it's like frozen fog. Yeah, it's very, very strange. I don't think I've ever driven for anything like this before. No. Feet cold, my boots are leaking, I think I've found. Um, but hey, at least we're out of the bike. That's true, at least we're on an adventure and not sat watching Netflix. But then again, the Netflix and chill bit, I wouldn't mind doing a bit of the chilling. <laughs> now, do you reckon that we could hire ourselves some, um, some lovely ladies to keep us warm by cuddling us as we ride along? Or would that be like against the law? Um, I don't know. Maybe we should discuss it when we're not uh, filming it. Okay, we'll get some. Yeah, good plan. We'll discuss it later, and we'll, then we'll we won't film it with the ladies hooking us as we're riding along. Well, we could film it because we'll get loads of views. We could just go somewhere and get some ladies to hug us while we're cr <laughs> while we're crying when we get off the bikes. I tell you what, we'll do. Oh, we'll pull outside the supermarket, I'll send you in and you can ask random ladies if they want to give us some hugs. Well, Sidekick, we've travelled just over 100 and about 10 miles, to be fair. Yep. And finally, we've found a bit of Mecca. Yeah, we've just been through some, haven't we? And we thought it was going to be a bit short, but we've actually turned the cameras on to record it because this is some nice road. This is all right, this is. This is more like it. Yeah, at last. At last, Bennett's have found us some roads. Can't put your knee down. It's a bit damp for getting my knee down. That'll be all right. Go, 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 go. Okay, don't go too quick, I can't keep up. <laughs> go, 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 come on, Himalayan. Woo hoo! 60, at the speed limit, because I'm a true professional. Looks like we're going back into the straights again. No, but I mean to be fair, that was a, there was a little bit of decent roadage there, wasn't there? Yeah, I'd say about a mile and a half worth of probably epic -y kind of bends. But that's it. Was nice. That's 110 miles for that. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you. Not worth it, but it is, that is a nice bit of road on me so far well more importantly the roads have improved we're now away from sort of we've gone through hall we're kind of out of there and it's picked up quite a bit so we've already decided that if you're going to do this route just cut the first 110 miles out and uh it's quite then obviously it's getting more pretty yeah from i mean from skegness up to the, the other side of hall was just pointless to be honest with you yeah, so you're in a bit of a mardy. Well, not mardy, no. no. We're out on the bikes, but yeah, you know, supposed to be a, an epic biking road in their top ten, but I've got to say, no, no, Bennett's, you got that wrong. Well, me and the psychic, I believe the psychic will agree that we've actually both said because we're literally right next to the sea at the minute, 
but because it's quite foggy and it's getting quite late at this point, it's 3.15 and it, basically the sun's starting to go down because obviously it's winter. So we're literally at the point of going like, we're not going to have to capture much more footage and we're going to completely destroy when we get into like what I think will be the most epic part of this journey. So the plan I think of it, it will be is we're going to now head, because we're getting cold, it's wet and etc etc, we're going to head back to where we're going to stay tonight above a pub and we're going to go and head back there because it's probably our best bet. I don't know about you psychic but I think that is probably the best thing to do. Yeah, I mean, like you say, we're losing, we're losing light, aren't we? It's, it is middle of winter. It's not been the best day for recording. With the uh, the last bit that we've been doing, oh, blue lights. Has the last bit that we've been doing has been some good roads, hasn't it? So it is getting better as we're going along. But we're not, like you say, we're not going to capture it. So we we want a drink, we want a pint. So yeah, let's. Uh, Let's boogie on down to the uh, to the pub. Yeah, I think so. To the pub, chill out, relook at the map, make tomorrow even more epic, and hopefully this fog will lift and we can get some more sort of stuff done. But like you said, that road was all right. In that I could imagine it being ten times better on a nice day. Well, we've put the hotel in and we've been going for a little bit of, bit of a distance, haven't we? And I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but you'll see all the trees are frosted. The temperature's dropped hugely and the point where it's like we have literally pulled over to check our heated vests and stuff because we're, we're both freezing. Freezing cold. Yeah, and I think because oh, it's been so foggy and misty, like all the mist and fog's frozen on the trees. It is really cold. It's horrendous, isn't it? Yeah. Now the thing is, your fuel light's on, my fuel light's on, and on the Himalayan it says F for Futard. So basically, we hopefully will find a petrol station as well. We've got 16 miles to go, so we should get there, hopefully. But we have no idea where this pub we're staying at, if it's the middle of nowhere or near a place. So this might get a bit more interesting, but my feet are literally hurting from the cold. So let's get, let's get back on the road. Let's get there. Oh, it actually really hurts. so cold so yeah my heated glove batteries my second pair died in the last sort of about 10 miles or so and I just everything was just freezing out there and I'm a little bit gutted to be honest because the North York sort of moors was the plan to get to and ride around and to kind of have to sort of call it short and come to the hotel but it's fog it's pitch black out there now, it's ice. But I don't give up and it's just gutting to sort of have to end it there. But tomorrow, tomorrow I'm gonna I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do some of the North York uh, moors because I'm not giving up. I'm just at the minute a bit gutted, cold. Yeah, a little bit disappointed, but like I said, I'm gonna go tomorrow. Right now I'm going to get out of all of this bike gear, put everything on charge and just go and get myself a beer. But yeah, a little bit gutted to be honest. <laughs> 